Would you look at that? Made in the USA. Walboro. Lo and behold, out of the Kimco thing. Anyway. So today what I have is the fuel pump out of the Kimco 4x4. Um, it just will not start. I uh, could not figure it out. I didn't even really know. I mean, I, I had remembered after the fact, of course, reading that that I was for injection because it's the UXV 500i. I think it's 2013 or 2012 Kimco. Um, now, wondering, would you look at that? Made in the USA. Made in the USA. Walboro. Lo and behold, out of the Kimco thing. Anyway, um, so tried to find, tried to find part number. I got this, uh, I believe this is the part number though. 17550PTA18000. Good luck finding that. <laughs> you won't. Um, tons of them for the Polaris out there, aftermarket versions and stuff. And as long as the diameter and everything's fine, you probably could make that work. Um, it's just going to be how it attaches. This one attaches very similar to the truck uh, that we did. The Chevy, it's got a little ring that screws down. Um, the Polaris's seem to have like a screw cap type thing. So, But I'll show you that when I get ready to put it back in. So anyway, I took this part number. Um, doesn't really look like you can get this apart, but when you, when you get it there, uh, it just kind of twists off. There's a little, the uh, fuel cinder or the level cinder here. You just kind of go in with a flathead screwdriver on the bottom of this. So it'll be one piece like that. And you just give it a little tap. And then you can see the slots there. How you just pull that out and let it hang. And then this little clip right on the inside here. Um, that you can see right there. That guy just come in here like this and give it a twist. And then it just twists off. So um, you'll be able to see that. Then this just comes out and unplugs, right? So I went on the wall barrel site wall bro site anyway and uh, typed in that number they do not make this exact one with a little 90 degree thing I cannot find that <laughs> so that's where the Kimco comes in I guess probably special special order or something but uh, this is the replacement that comes up of course this is the Chinese $12 version so we'll see if that works or not um, but they have three different inlets on them uh, and usually in the kit, even on the wall barrel site, you'll get the filters with them. So well, the way these were designed is that instead of having a tube on the bottom like this that hangs down and goes into the tank, um, there's a tube from here to the top like that, and then you just have the filter on the bottom. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to rig it up yet. I'll show you that when I get to it. Inside here, if you can see, is the uh, just a little short piece of hose that this slip slides into. So what I'm thinking is I may rig up something here to hang this pump lower and try to get it, you know, kind of a right about maybe a little bit higher and just remember to not run my gas tank dry. I could just install everything like it comes like this and just remember it about a half a tank I'll need new gas. We don't use a whole tank of gas very often anyway, so that may be the simplest way to do it. Just install this, put the little filter that comes with it and then just try not to run it below half a tank so um but let me let me get some things together and then i'll bring you back i found these uh heat shrinkable butt connectors so i think that'll probably be best to use on here since it's in there and then i don't have to worry about speed connectors or nothing else my pigtail connected and get that heated up all right so I've got that part done I'm just gonna figure out how to drill out that piece because I don't know if I have all my bits here so it took a little bit of work um, I had to kind of waller the hole out a little bit but now I've got a really nice tight fit here um, so actually it Probably if I would just put some glue down in there, um, I think I'm good to go. So now I'm just going to put it all back together and see if it kind of fits right. Um, and then that will extend it down. Then I can put my filter on here 
um, everywhere that goes and slide this up and have a have a working pump hopefully here in a few minutes there we go there's my pump and that'll extend it down to uh, you know it's gonna still well it was up here and then by the time I put that down I'm only gonna be a couple of inches off so I think this is how I'm gonna do it snaps down and there we go there's my float so empty tank right here is not gonna be too much lower than my thing because this will stick down to right there hey that's good because then I won't be sucking anything off the bottom of the tank so right there's my fix I'm gonna go get it installed and I'll show you that um, actually I probably will put some I'm gonna go read to see which kind of glues are compatible with gas and I'll probably put something on there just to kind of keep it uh, from sliding or bouncing around and then we'll go outside and get it installed all right so this is what I ended up doing um, I did put some gasket seal stuff on here just to kind of make it tighter and keep it from pushing down if that pressure appears too much so after it's been drying for <clears throat> a couple days now uh, I've been thinking about it and of course you know there's some things I w wish I would have done but end goal was just to get this thing in the tank below the gas level so it'll pump some gas to your carburetor so it doesn't really matter um, yes I did lose about that much so a few inches here um, for my gas tank so I'll just have to make sure you know drive it enough to keep the gas fixed so uh, I don't have some that's real old all the time but uh what I wished I would have done was maybe make a little cage out of this you'll see some models of gas uh, fuel pumps that have like just two pieces of metal and then the pumps down at the bottom and you can see the long piece of of a hose going up to the top and maybe that's what I should have done I'm just not even bothered cutting this or anything just put the pump down here and make a little cage with a loop on the bottom and then use maybe a, a, a hose clamp or something to clamp it to here but you know there's there's plenty of ways you can do this you know if you have some suggestions or something that you might have tried or the way you would have done it just leave that in the comments down there and uh you know for the next person so ooh, that's gonna be good because I need to spin that around I didn't even think about that portion getting it in there with the level sense so I'm gonna have more of an issue than I thought this is pretty easy to pop on and off that's what I'll do I'll just do this put that in there first and then there and then I'll just stick it back on while it's in the tank okay, so that gets around that okay so like I said you know um, end goal and you know maybe you can find one you know when you're doing this or if you have the chem code just if you find anything leave it down in the comments you know one that fits a little better maybe or um, if you've tried the Polaris one and it actually uh, fits in this tank or something then you know just leave that down in the comments because like it is you know there's 10 million ways to do something this is the way I'm gonna do it and hopefully it'll work great this is what I was saying the Polaris one uh, replacements have a screw type connector on it and then um, this one is kind of like the trucks where it just has a plate that screws down I'm not 100% sure my battery's charged up Oh, hey, there it goes. I hear a pump going. Yeah, let me get the charger. Here we go. Now that's how easy it used to be to start. Just turn the key once or so and it would go. So, fuel pump fixed it. And I think it was $19. I, I looked it up and it was $19.99, so it cost me 20 bucks. Once again, another problem fixed. So, as always, just keep trying it. And um, if you've come up with a you know, better idea or different idea, I guess I would say, because when it works, it doesn't matter what kind of the idea it was. So, leave them down there in the comments. And by all means, if you do find a pump that fits just right, um, 
definitely leave that down and I'll pin it for the next people that come along. Just get outside, do it, and you'll figure it out. And if not, try again. As always, we thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.